Hello there everybody. This video is just simply going to be showing you everything about shimming, adjusting, or setting the clearance on your cam button. This particular engine is a small block Chevy, but that little bearing right there, simply just to keep the cam bearing or the cam shaft from moving um, front to back in the engine block too far. And if it does, it will mess with your distributor position because Moving this forward and aft will adjust, you know, where the pointer is set. Now, people say you need this because when you switch from a flat type of cam to a roller cam, that the lifters, the taper on the lobes of the cam doesn't naturally keep the cam in. Now, personally, I don't believe that because I'm pretty sure that oil pump takes a pretty big uh, amount of energy to rotate all the time. And I'm pretty freaking sure that when you pop a distributor in there, and put some load on it it would just pull that cam in immediately and i it makes sense to me but everybody seems to understand that a flat tap it you know the lobes and the, the taper on the lobes really pulls the cam back and when you switch from a roller you need to put a cam button in uh, i don't really believe that i think all the cams need a cam button just to keep the uh ignition timing in check but that there's not going to be a lot of load on this anyway but uh my particular timing set came with a roller button so i'm using a roller button and shimming this thing is a bit of a challenge because i can't really find any information on how to get it just right and the spec for this tends um in my little kit tends to be uh, around 0 0.005 of an inch 0 0.010 so i'm going to do my best to get that accurate what you probably should do to get that accurate is use a magnetic base style indicator put it uh, in your lifter gallery or the valley point it through this hole in the block at the back of the sprocket and uh especially if you're using a timing chain that sprocket should be big enough my kit is not because these gears are just smaller so what i am going to do is just eyeball it to five to ten thousandths of an inch and i accept the responsibility of that decision but you should definitely do it the right way and the right way would be popping out this back cover for the camshaft and putting your indicator right there at the back of the cam Again, I don't care. So, shimming this thing, though, is a bit of a challenge. I can't really find any information or any, like, kits of shims or, you know, packs of shims or, or anything online. But what I did find for you, and it's kind of confusing that they are weird to me that they trust cut-up Coke can to act as a shim, but honestly... As long as those shims don't come out, which if the cam button stays in there, I don't think they would. If those shims stays in there, then it should be fine. And so that's exactly what I've done is take a piece of soda can, cut it up with some tin snips. And then I also found a washer. This is going to take up most of the space. It just fits inside the cam gear and place of that uh, roller button right there. But... Every, make sure everything goes behind it inside the gear. It's just big enough to sit behind there and it is almost the diameter of the cam button. So I don't worry about that at all. It seems to make sense that it will work. That's what I'm gonna do. And here again is that article from the folks at Engine Labs. This is literally how they did it, is they took some soda can, cut it up and their can, they mentioned, measures about 0 0.012 of an inch. My shims seem to only measure about six thousandths. So we will see how many it takes to get my clearance just right. And I did look for some information on shims uh, about getting them. The closest thing I could find was a like a timing cover hardware like replacement kit for a small block and a big block from Comp. That's like 60 bucks and seems to have some shims in the background. I did check comp cams for anything like anything re remotely similar to the word shims. And it seems like they only have shims for valve springs. So if you found a kit that has these little shims for the cam button, uh, put that link in the comments or something so that everybody here can gain some information. Otherwise, you know, you kind of have to, you're left with coming up your own solutions. Whatever. I think it'll work just fine, but... Seems a little hacky. Uh, the other options for doing a cam button are using the aluminum version, or the um, or nylon version, or the aluminum version. One of my friends says he had a carbon fiber one, but I seem to can't 
Can't seem to find that information anywhere or a part number for that. And then the roller style here, which is what I have for my timing set. The You could shim off three of these, but the beauty of these two is you can just file them down and make them fit. But, you know, people are worried about these wearing down and no longer being in spec after the running the engine for some time. My kit happens to have a roller button, so I'm just going to use that. Um, but shimming this, I was thinking, hey, you know, there must be a little bit of slop in here. And I wonder if I could just pop that clip out. And on the kit I have, this is a Summit Racing Quiet Gear Drive. Uh, I understand a gear drive and that it makes noise. And I think it's cool and I want it. And you don't have to put this on your engine. I don't care. It's on mine. Uh, this one does have some play on it. And I thought, hey, you could pop that clip off and throw a washer in there. And then that way, you know, it's all attached and it wouldn't come out like these loose ones are in the back of the button. Uh, but truthfully, I don't want to break that clip and I don't think I need to take this apart. And I think it's more effort than it's worth. So I'm just going to stack it all up behind it. And as long as all this is shimmed correctly and that button doesn't come out too far, then none of those shims should escape. So I have no problem with doing this. I think it's all right. I think that it's not going to be too dangerous and I accept the risks. So that's what I'm doing. Don't forget to torque these with two 20 foot pounds and put Loctite on them, by the way. But yes, this is everything I learned in the past few months of doing research on this. And this is all I found. So good luck to everybody. I hope your uh, projects go smoothly and I hope your engine build goes without a problem. Have a great day. Goodbye.